February the 28th, 2013, was an ordinary day in this quiet town near Tampa. Jeremy Bush had just returned home from work. Went in my room, started eating, and heard this loud, loud noise. It sounded like a train or a car or something just hit the house. What happened to the house? Uh, the, the bedroom floor just collapsed, and my brother-in-law was in there, and he's underneath the house. This 911 call was made moments after 37-year-old Jeff Bush was swallowed by a sinkhole. The hole had ripped open right underneath his bedroom. The sound Jeremy had heard was the concrete floor of his brother's bedroom collapsing. I ran towards my brother's room, opened the door, and there was no floor there. Everything was gone. Jeremy's wife, Rachel, and her aunt, Janelle Wicker, were also in the house. We heard him screaming, help, and we ran out down the hallway. I jumped in the hall, swear I could hear him hollering for me, Jeremy, help me. I was, I was digging with my hands. <laughs> there wasn't nothing I could do. As Jeremy tried to save his brother, Rachel dialed 911. We need an ambulance and a cop buddy stuck underneath the house. The house just fell through. Okay, and what happened to the house? Uh, the, the bedroom floor just collapsed, and my brother-in-law is in there, and he's underneath the house. The emergency services arrived within minutes, but time was running out for Jeff. With the hole expanding, a police officer pulled Jeremy from the room. As I'm getting out of the hole, the hole's collapsing. The police and fire crews brought in specialist equipment to search for Jeff Bush and try to save him. All the family could do now was watch and wait. In a final attempt to locate Jeff and pull him out, the police sent in specialist equipment. While Jeff's brother Jeremy watched on with his wife, Rachel, and her aunt, Janelle. The hole opened up and took their equipment down, the camera and everything, so then Everything stopped because the hole was still growing. Nobody did anything. No one really even tried to rescue my brother with me. He's still down there. The memory of Jeff's death is hard to live with. But they also live with the knowledge that things could have been even worse. Two months prior to this, my daughter was in that room. So it could have been all of us at one point and not just him. Yeah. <sighs> the house was later demolished, along with two houses on either side. Now there is nothing but fenced off wasteland. A wasteland that hides the sinkhole that swallowed Jeff Bush and buried him alive. That is my brother's last resting place. I come out here on his anniversary when it happened. I come out here on his birthday. It's hard, but it, I do it, man. Because I love him. I want him to know that I tried everything I could to get him out, do everything I could. Florida is full of holes, with new ones appearing every week. So in this part of the world, a sinkhole expert is always busy, 